during this virus period, I've been watching a lot of videos and a lot of different kind of videos on YouTube. And I'm going to tell you just exactly what I learned from J.J. Virgin. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. And sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bent in the undergrowth. Then took the other just as fair and having perhaps a better claim because it was grassy and wanted wear though as not for the passing there had worn them really about the same, and both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence two roads diverged in a wood and I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference Robert Frost Hi, this is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, as I said, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos to entertain myself. I haven't been watching much television at all. But I happened to come across a video where a fitness expert, JJ Virgin, and I will put her link below, was giving tips on how to um, put the brakes on aging. You know, just four different things that we can do while we are here all quarantined together and afterwards we can do to maybe help slow down this aging process that we are all in and we don't really want to think about it. I don't know, it's me. I really don't want to think about it. But the first thing is that um, she said, and I know we're home and it's, you know, you're, you're not really being able to go out so you have a tend to eat more maybe a little bit and to nosh a little bit more well she said stop grazing grazing really is not good you know eat three square meals a day uh, because when you when you graze it kind of raises the insulin and it's not good for your sugar levels and also don't eat at night just before you go to bed because your body needs at least 10 to 12 hours of rest to digest what you've been in and to work its little magic while you're sleeping. So try not to do that late night eating because it also, you know, makes you gain weight. And uh, I don't know about you, but at my age, I really have to, to watch it. So don't raise your sugar levels and uh, with insulin, just eat three square meals a day and, and you'll be fine. But that is one of the things that you can help to stop and put the brakes on aging is to eat properly. The second thing is, you know, talking about insulin and raising your sugar, your insulin level. Look at your packaging. And you know, I have done this for a while because my whole, my mother and her whole side of her family were all diabetics uh, type two when they were in their late seventies, early eighties. So uh, I really watch my sugar. But when I go to the store, when I used to go to the store, but anyway, when I when I look at packages of the food, do you know how much sugar is in everything? Almost everything we eat has sh added sugar in it. That's really scary. I mean, do they think that we here in this country are so addicted to sugar that every single thing from crackers to um, uh, cereals everything has this added sugar in it and it's crazy even you know some of the milk that you get has the added sugar in it if you are using you know almond milk or soy milk they add a little sugar sometimes so i get the unsweetened kind when i get soy milk um, or almond milk i get the unsweetened kind without the added sugar but the next time you're able to get out of your house and go to the grocery store just check those packages it's scary Everything is filled with sugar, and sugar is not healthy for you at all. 
Sugar combined with fat in your diet produces what they call as glycan. And that just loads up your arteries. Basically, she says it's kind of like, if you think about it, uh, the crust on the bread. That's what this glycan does to your arteries. If you can, eliminate as much sugar in your diet as you can because honestly, you will have more energy because sugar, sugar gives you an instant high and then it drops you down to the basement once that energy is dissipated and so you have a, a sugar low. The only type of sugar that's really good if you crave is dark chocolate. It doesn't hurt once in a while to eat a little bit of dark chocolate because that really is healthy for you. That's a good thing, right? Because I do like chocolate. If you don't get enough sleep, it interferes with your telomeres, which are the end caps to your genes. So sleep is really important. Uh, today we're not getting as much exercise. I know I go up in my roof garden and I will promenade around and around and around because I'm not doing long walks with Sophie right now at this time. We're kind of quarantined in. But being able to sleep well is really important. One sometimes what I do is um, I drink a little of mint tea before I go to bed or chamomile tea and try to relax and I really shut off the internet. I don't look at my iPhone. I don't look at anything that's going to be stimulating my brain because if I do that, I'm thinking about things probably till one o'clock in the morning. So I have learned to close the door in the bedroom, turn off my brain, turn off all of my social media and just to, to try to, I write in my diary uh, my, my journal, and um, that's the end of my day. And it really does help um, your sleep patterns if you do that, because sleep is really extremely important to everyone, whether they're young or old, and their sleep patterns really do matter. Sometimes, if I can't sleep, I do listen to an app on my phone, but I put my earphones in, I have the phone away from me, and it's Andrew Johnson, and he has a very, I'll put the link below to his app, but he has a very good app that kind of can lull you to sleep. Sometimes I will ask Alexa to play uh, meditation music. That lulls me to sleep, and sometimes I play nature sounds. All of these things you can use if you're having problems to sleep, but as far as watching social media and, and reading comments and getting your brain involved in activities that are not soothing really is against a good sleep pattern. And the fourth one, of course, is exercise. You don't have to run a marathon, just moderate exercise, walking up and down the steps, walking your pet, uh, walking with your husband or friends, just getting outside and walking. Today, unfortunately, we're kind of limited but I have a video where you can, for two minutes, can do anti-stress exercises. You can uh, walk around your living room. You can do yoga videos. There's so many ways that you can exercise and calm yourself and get the steps that you need. I don't know whether you can get your 10,000 steps in, but it, I, I'm not. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not but at least I'm able to get some type of exercise every single day. And that exercise basically also helps burn calories and also helps you sleep better. So these are the four things that JJ Version suggests that we do. And we are in unusual times right now. So I want you to think about whatever you can take from this video and use in your everyday life before we can get back to normal. I hope all of you are well, please stay well follow the guidelines, and let's get to the other side of this. Take care. Be good to yourself. Be kind to someone today by giving them a call and letting them know that you care and that they're important in your life, and of course, to share the love. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye now.